Good morning, and uh, we're going to talk this morning about the day of the Lord, or the day of Yahuwah, as more accurately described in the original text. Um, I'll just mention this up front, because uh, a lot of people don't understand about the aspect that the name of the Creator, which is Yahuwah, which is, which is the correct way to pronounce the four Hebrew letters of our Creator's name, and it's been substituted with the word Lord in our English translations. That's why when I refer to as the day of the Lord as the day of Yahuwah, because that is what the original text says. Now, you might think that's a minor point, but uh, when you begin to do a study and find out how important the name of the Creator is, that it's been edited out of our English translations approximately 7,000 times, we know for sure uh, it's been edited out of the Tanakh or the Old Testament 6,823 times. His name has been substituted with the, the English word Lord. And in the New Testament, it's, it's approximately 200, probably more than that, that it's been substituted uh, with the same title or word, Lord, and his name should be there in the text. Now, this study is not about the name of the Creator. If you want to know more or have more information about the name of the Creator, um, I have YouTube videos, a number of videos that I've done on um, how we know that His name is pronounced as Yahuwah and not as what most people think as Yahweh or Jehovah and all these uh, hybrid names. These are names that have been made up. They're not His name, nor do they reflect the true uh, pronunciation of the name of the Creator. And uh, so, with that said, uh, please uh, uh, make use of the videos that I've done. There's, a, there's approximately, I've done over 1,200 videos on my channel, um, and there's a lot of other subjects and topics that I've taught on. So uh, please uh, view those videos, share them with others. And uh, so, with that said, I'm going to read uh, this morning from the book of Isaiah, or his real name, you may not even know this, this is so many names in the, in the scriptures have been changed by the translators. And um, one, of, one of the names in the book of, uh, is the book of Isaiah. Isaiah, or the prophet Isaiah, was never called Isaiah. His name is, in Hebrew, is Yasha Yahu. And his name translated means uh, salvation is of Yahuwah. And so, uh, but again, this, is, this teaching is about the day of Yahuwah. And... Uh, but again, in the book of Isaiah, or Yashayahu, uh, chapter 13, I'm going to start reading at verse 9. Now, out of the English translation, it says, Behold, the day of the Lord comes. Of course, it actually said in Hebrew, Behold, the day of Yahuwah comes. Cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. To, and then it says why, why it's here. To lay the land desolate and to destroy the sinners out of it. Now, this is a prophecy given by the prophet Isaiah about a future event that's to take place, which we have coined the phrase the tribulation period or the seven-year tribulation. But to be more accurately, it's, it should, should be called what it is, is, is uh, the Daniel's 70th week, these seven years that um, Yahuwah has, uh, has to fulfill with the nation of Yasharel or Israel. And... Um, it's also referred to as Jacob's trouble or Israel's trouble. Is Jacob's name was changed to Israel. So it's a time of Israel's trouble or Yasharel's trouble. And um, so this is a future event. But notice what it says here, that it, it's, a, it's a day both of wrath and fierce anger. And the purpose is to lay the land desolate and to destroy the sinners out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall not give, uh, the sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and lay, lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Now, in the book of Zephaniah, this is also another reference to the day of Yahuwah, or the day of the Lord. And I'm going to read, uh, starting in chapter 1, verse 14. It says, the great day of Yahuwah is near, or it's here. 
this when it says it's near, it's referring to that it's right upon us. It is near, in hasting greatly, even the voice of the day of Yahuwah. The mighty man shall cry there bitter. The, the mighty men sh shall cry there bitterly. In other words, the, the, the man on earth shall cry bitterly. The mighty man shall recognize what this day is. That day is a day of wrath. Again, supporting what the prophet Isaiah talked about, being a day of wrath, a day of anger, a day of trouble and distress or tribulation. That's another word for distress. A day of wasteness and desolation. A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness. I mentioned in my... Uh, video that I did on my rapture dream that was, which was about a month ago I had the first rapture dream I've ever had and how powerful that was to me and one of the things I pointed out in that video was that when it began to happen uh, as I described that it was in, in the daytime around two or three o'clock in the afternoon it seemed like like a either a summer or a spring or a, or a fall day it was um, it was bright sunshiny outside and as I mentioned in the video as I began to walk through my, my house to another room, I looked to my left, looked out the window, and then all of a sudden it uh, became totally pitch black dark outside. And the moment that happened, I knew something was about to happen. And right at that same moment, as I began to, to realize this is something supernatural that was happening, uh, I felt this energy coming into my body. And at the same time, I felt my body begin to arise. And I also began to realize that this is the rapture. And it was uh, not only very exciting, but it was also a, 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 a time frame where I felt like it would, like people would feel like when they realized what had happened. Because I realized there were a lot of people being left behind. Some people that I knew, but I didn't consciously think about who it was. I just knew that there were people that I knew that were being left behind and, that, and then it was too late. And so there was a, a sense of desperation for them. And, but the point I'm making in bringing this back up is that it was a time of complete darkness. Supernaturally, uh, it became totally pitch black dark in the middle of a day. And of course, that's what this day is described here, is a day of darkness and gloomies. Um, and I believe that was a, a sign or indication to me, of course, confirming what the scripture already says, I believe the day of Yahuwah will begin uh, simultaneously after the rapture. In other words, as the rapture is happening, then the day of Yahuwah, because immediately judgment is going to fall after the rapture. And again, this, this fits the description of, of what our Messiah, Yahushua, described in talking about the days of Noah and Lot. And if you go back and read those verses about that particular uh, time frame, you, it says that immediately once Lot was taken out, judgment fell. And so this is a description or, or, or a foreshadowing of the rapture itself, that judgment is coming upon this earth again, and it's coming uh, for a particular reason to remove the sinners off of it. Of course, it's also a time of, uh, like I said, of Jacob's trouble, where, where the nation of Yasharel will come to the realization in this tribulation time frame of who their Messiah, the Mashiach, is. Please share this with others. Uh, the good news is that uh, those that have put their faith and trust in the Messiah, that have the spirit, have the Ruach in them, that are, that are born again, we will not have to face this time of Jacob's trouble or the time frame that's described here in the book of Isaiah chapter 13 and also Zephaniah chapter 1. We shall be, because we have not been appointed to wrath. <laughs> that's good news. Please share this with others. And until next time, shalom.